Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. President Trump takes first steps to change Obamacare. By Paige Winfield Cunningham. The Trump administration has taken a first step to reshape Obamacare through its own administrative powers, even as Republicans on Capitol Hill remain stymied over how to repeal and replace the health care law. A rule proposed on Wednesday, which would tighten up enrollment and allow plans across all tiers to cover fewer medical expenses, is likely to please health insurers facing deep marketplace uncertainty, and comes on the heels of an announcement Tuesday by major insurer Humana that it's exiting next year due to heavy losses. The changes are a key way for Trump and Republicans to tweak the Affordable Care Act more quickly than changing it through the legislative process which is taking longer than they'd originally promised and may be gummed up by growing GOP divisions for how to approach it all. It also allows Republicans to tell constituents they're taking immediate steps to improve the health care law they've blasted for years. And it's a way for the administration to appease health insurers, who are already struggling with sicker, more expensive marketplace patients than expected and are now unsure about what the marketplaces will look like next year if Congress upends the law. This proposal will take steps to stabilize the marketplace, provide more flexibility to states and insurers, and give patients access to more coverage options, said Patrick Conway, acting administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The 71-page rule proposed Wednesday morning contains a number of measures aimed at discouraging patients from enrolling in coverage only when they need care, and providing some more flexibility for insurers in the plans they can't sell. Under the changes, the regular enrollment season would be halved, running from November 1 to December 15, instead of through the end of January as originally planned. For those seeking to sign up during special enrollment periods, like if they've lost a job or had a baby, there would be a new process where CMS would verify their eligibility before starting their coverage. Insurers would also have more ability to collect past due premiums and cancel coverage for the following year when customers don't make their payments. If customer paid their premium only in the months when they need care, the insurer could apply that premium to past debt. The proposed rule would also lower the minimum threshold of medical expenses insurers would have to cover, across all the metal tier plans. For example, Insurers must now cover at least 68% of medical expenses for a silver level plan, but could pay as little as 66% under the new rule. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.